Go ahead and call the uh, Board of Supervisors meeting to order. For the um, invocation, uh, Chris, are you going to lead us in the, do the invocation for us, please? Okay, and uh, I believe someone else will be taking a pledge. Go ahead and pledge for us. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this land of freedom and peace in which we live. We are thankful for governments elected by the people. We are thankful for this system of government which has been established for free people in this land. We invite thy spirit to be in this meeting this day, that the discussions and Decisions that are made will be for the benefit of the residents of the county and promote harmony and efficiency. We pray for the leaders of the nation that they will be inspired, guided by thee, and do things that are best for the people of this great land. And this we say in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Party, Joe, are you on the telephone? Okay, why don't we go with item one, the uh, library district. Good morning. Mr. Chairman. Good morning. The library district requests your discussion and possible approval of the updated lease agreement between the Greer Community Facilities Association and the Apache County Library District for the Greer Memorial Library for fiscal year 2014-2015 at the rate of $784.21 per month. This item has been reviewed by Joseph Young of the County Attorney's Office and by Ryan Patterson of the County Finance Director. Okay, gentlemen, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll motion to approve the item for the library district. Okay. Thank you. There's a motion and a second to approve. Any questions, comments? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Aye, aye opposed. The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Third Thank motion. You. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. No, I'll motion to adjourn the library district meeting. Second. Okay, motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor, say aye. 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 Library District is hereby adjourned. Thank you. Okay, now we'll be going to the uh, Board of Supervisors meeting. Item one. Good morning, Chief. Good morning, Mr. Chairman and members of the board. Good morning. Uh, Sheriff's Office and Office of Emergency Management. This is a notification and update on the implementation of stage two fire restrictions that went into effect at 8 a.m. on Friday, May 23rd, due to extreme fire danger. I've got a little information here for you. Uh, this is from <coughs> Arizona State Forestry. Uh, to date, as of yesterday, there have been 625 reported wildfires in the state of Arizona. Of that 625, Eight, or excuse me, 583 have been human caused. This is part of the reason that we look at fire restrictions. The last thing that we want to do is remove anybody's rights or try to keep anybody from doing the things that they need to do. But with this in mind, this is part of the part of the instance that gets us into uh, stage two fire restrictions. So far, natural fires were lightning caused. There have been 42 reported this year. I just returned from the, the slide fire with my type one incident management team. 
that was a, a fire of 21,227 acres. We had uh, 1,220 some odd personnel on that fire at, at the peak. So with those uh, those in mind, uh, we went ahead and implemented those fire the, the stage two fire restrictions, and we would hope that everybody would really. Once you've been warned, warn your neighbor, and let's try to keep from having a major fire in Apache <coughs> County. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I have some questions. Okay, Mr. Weller. Uh, yeah, thank you, Chief. Uh, we definitely are in a, in a season of problems right now. I, the fly fire, is that the fire uh, uh, southeast of uh, Apache Nation that's coming smoke into the uh, Springville area? <coughs> No, sir, it, it, was, it was the slide fire. It was a bus slide. Sedona. That's where I was. The smoke that we're seeing right now, you have on the uh, White Mountain Apache is the Black River Tank Fire, which is on the White Mountain Apache and the San Carlos Apache. It's right on Black River. Uh, last report on it that I got yesterday, it was uh, 2,200 2, acres. They were working some uh, burnout operations, trying to get out in front of it and be able to stop it. Uh, also, the skunk fire on the San Carlos Apache, which has been giving us some smoke off and on for the last week or so. Uh, and they're trying to manage that fire for ecological benefit. Uh, and right now, it is at 52,480 acres. So those are the ones that are giving us the smoke right now. And we try to keep that information up to date on our 311 info network. Uh, we try to update it as soon as we can get information updated. Okay. We're, we're experiencing smoke on those, the wind direction could bring in this direction. Now, what's the percent of control of those two fires? Uh, let's see. The skunk fire right now is 77% contained. The Black River tank fire is at zero. Uh, hopefully that will change today. Uh, they're kind of hesitant to, to put uh, much containment on when we're going through the conditions that we have now with the high heat, high winds, red flag conditions. We are going to be in red flag uh, this afternoon, and it looks like uh, potentially red flag or near red flag tomorrow. Thank you. One, one other question. Yeah. Uh, I heard uh, rumor that uh, there were some people out uh, with fires in the in the forest area that had been requested to extinguish and then had to go back a second time. Was that the Forest Service with that, your department that got involved with that? Or you? I'm bringing it up because people need to pay attention to these restrictions at this point. And, and I'm wondering if uh, most people are being cooperative with what, what you're experiencing. Most people are very cooperative. Uh, Navajo County has implemented a zero tolerance. Uh, if someone's caught with a, a fire, campfire, or another fire that is in violation of the stage two restriction, they are citing. Uh, I don't believe that the Forest Service has implemented a zero tolerance policy. Uh, our employees have been instructed to view the situation and make sure we don't have a zero tolerance policy, but we're right next to it. If, if it's an illegal fire, they need to be cited, and we've been taking care of that. Thank you. Okay, ma'am, question? Come up to the mic and give your name, please, for the record. I'm Lorraine Vaught from Vernon, and I've been monitoring the fires it went from 65, the black tank fire went from 65 to 35 yesterday. But my question is, that uh, the skunk fire started 30 days ago, on the 19th. And why did they let it go for so long? And the main thing that I want to ask, uh, if you could please include specifics on, um, so far as what, in the, in the restrictions for uh, level two, you say combust, small combustion em engines. Can you please spell it out? Because most people don't understand it includes chainsaws and weed whackers and lawnmowers. It's not, it's not specifically stated. I 
And there's people up here that just don't understand.